Good morning, seventh graders. I'm going to quickly show you how to create um, an annotated slide using pages. So you can see on my screen right now is what your finished product would look like. This is how you're going to get there. So I'm going to minimize. I'm going to go down to my toolbar and I'm going to open pages. I'm going to go to file. I'm going to open new. I'm going to get blank landscape and I'm going to choose it will open up a blank landscape alright so the first thing I'm going to want to do is bring in the slide that I've chosen so you should have that slide um, that screenshot of that slide saved on your desktop for easy access so I'm simply going to slide my my window over to the left a little bit here right here is my slide that I want to use so I'm going to grab it and I'm just going to drag it into my document and it will come on in like that. I'm going to recenter my window. I'm going to then center my image. You can do so by waiting for the yellow lines to come up like so. Then the first thing I want to do of course is give my document a title. I'm going to call this Mr. Holtz Chosen Design colon uh, slide theme presentation. Okay, I'm going to highlight that. And if you're not familiar with pages, over here is where all of your text tools are. So I'm going to I'm going to make that uh, impact because I like that. And I'm going to make it considerably bigger, to about 24 point. There we go. So now my title is ready. Now I need to annotate my my slide deck or sorry, my slide. So the way to do that is to go up to the top bar up here. You can see the big T that is text box. I'm going to click text box. It will stick the text box in the middle there. It might mess everything up you've done. However, if you just click and drag it down, it quite easily re-centers everything. So you can put your box where you like it. Now your box is highlighted. So um, over here, you can Sorry. When your box is highlighted over here, you're going to have the ability to give your box um, some detail. So I suggest that you give it a color gradient fill. It defaults to the blue, but if you don't like the blue, you can change the blue here. You can make it green, um, but I'm going to I'm going to stick with that nice light blue. Then I'm going to make sure it has a border so it stands out. I'm going to give it line. Um, and again, if you don't like the thickness of that line, you can get the thickness change there. Maybe I'll make it a little thinner. Now I can enter my text. So I need to annotate. Um, and in the uh, criteria, it tells us to describe the choices we've made. So what I'm going to do, though, to quickly go through this video is I'm going to go up here and I'm going to just get the text that I had from my previous example. I'm going to copy it. However, you're going to write your text in. And I'm going to put it in. I'm going to paste it in. I have a high quality image to demonstrate the point that an image choice is important. Okay. Um, I'm also going to want to indicate what I'm referring to. So I'm going to go back up to here and I'm going to choose a shape. I'm going to choose arrow. It's going to put an arrow right here in the middle. I'm going to make that arrow a different color. Um, and I want to make that arrow match my blue box. So I go here to my eyedropper. And I can go over here and I'm going to make it exactly that color and it'll make it that color. Okay, I'm going to make my line. Um, maybe I'll make it look like that. Oh, that looks way cooler. Then if I want, I can grab the uh, point here and I can just rotate it a little bit around. Move it like so, so that I know that I'm indicating the image. So that is how you add a text box that is filled with an arrow. I expect that you have at least three to four text boxes describing um, the reasons that you chose your design. Thanks for listening.